We're up, we're up, we're up. Even all remarks here, back in another video, back in another Oculus Quest video. And we're doing a live stream again, because that seems to be the uh, thing I'm doing more of these days. Um, but you guys seem to enjoy it, so I'm going to keep doing it as long as you guys enjoy it. And we're covering um, real VR fishing. Real fishing VR even. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> Can't get it wrong. Um, it's a game, it's probably my number one favourite game on the Oculus Go. And it came out in June, which also I put in the chat just there. Um, and it's one of my favourites. It is really, really well done. I think for the Oculus Go in particular, the graphics on it were amazing. It played well, it was a fun game, it had some, some difficulty options which kind of made it a bit more sort of realistic uh, as far as you wanted to go. Um, and now it's on the Quest. And so we've added six doff dual controllers so we can get that dual sort of reeling in it it should be pretty cool so i've not tried it yet the devs dropped me a code today so i thought i'd jump on and take a look straight away but how's everyone doing before we jump in and play how's everyone doing hello robert hello muggy oh chad straight in there thank you chad for the five dollars you are awesome remarkable you are amazing thank you mate i do appreciate your support you do drop the um donos the donos in there quite often so i do appreciate that mate that does uh, does help me uh who else we got in here hard luck bears Goric, graphic monkey i am a bird um rc brand terry has a go mate catch you a bass i'll see what i can do yeah, it's a no-brainer. It is double the price, unfortunately, on the Oculus Quest, but I think that's just as much down to Oculus wanting to charge more than it is the developers wanting to keep it the same price. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is a good game. I think it's still worth it for the money. Um, but then saying that I've not tried it yet, we're going to try it live now on stream for the first time. As I say, I've played the Go version a lot, so it shouldn't be any, there shouldn't be any real surprises, but I kind of go through it in a kind of review fashion so you can kind of see all the different options and how it's all set up and everything. Uh, Lionel, how's it going? I shouldn't think it would give you motion sickness. There's no real moving around unless you want to move around. I mean, you move around the cabin, that maybe, but you can, you know, once you're in fishing, you practically sat still. So, um, no news on population release. Gavin, not as far as I'm aware. You're right, James. Nice to see you from Montana. Graham, how's it going? Goldo, hi, Quebec. Nice, nice. Uh, it's a shame you can't transfer Go games to the Quest, but I guess the Go games are cheaper. Although there is that Go emulation coming later in the year, so we should be able to get uh, um, Go games on the Quest. It'd be interesting to see if maybe the ones that are available on the Quest will be available as part of that emulation. Hmm. i got a funny feeling they won't be, but we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll leave my cynical hat off to one side, but uh, I call it now. Um, gigabytes of room left. This, to be fair, this, I downloaded uh, Real VR Fishing, Real Fishing VR even, <laughs> um, and uh, it's only 200 megabytes, no, 199 megabytes, so it's tiny. But it's got like photo risk, realistic background. So we're going to jump into it just in a second. You know what, Dwarf? Daz! You, oh, you're teasing me again. So now rather than a, a bottle of wine in Paris, it's a bottle of rum from Cuba. You don't sit still in one place, mate. That is, that is terrible. I appreciate the money, mate. That is awesome. That 10, 10 pound will go a long way for keeping this channel going, keeping me going, keeping me in the lifestyle that you guys have led me to believe that I should be having in this YouTube world. Hitting 15,000 subs this morning. How awesome is that? I am bird. With another dono. God, are you getting low the donos in already now? Thank you, mate. You're awesome. You're remarkable. Thank you for that 199. I donate. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that. Right, so the Go, yeah, I still love the Go, Ben Ben Stein. Um Go is still a, an absolute belter of a device. For the money, it's a bargain. Um but let's uh Did you find the key for your suitcase? Did they find the key for the suitcase? I'm not sure what that means. Did I? Did I? Did, is that a past joke? I can't remember. Um, we would hope so, RC, that the uh, emulation that comes with to the Go in um, the future of Go emulation will actually uh, 
Let's open that up. Let's switch, let's switch the camera so you can actually see what's going on. Um, we'll hopefully update their things. Oh, we need to give it access to our files. Because if you didn't know, real VR fishing. Oh, I keep saying real VR fishing. Real fishing VR. Is it real fishing VR? And I'm now super confused and I've said the wrong thing so many times. Yeah, real VR fishing. Yeah, I keep, I've said the wrong things four times. I think I've convinced myself it's the other way around. Uh, oh, another <laughs> another one ninety nine. I am bird. You are a very flush bird with lots of money. Clearly. All right. Ooh, got a little menu thing. Um, where's my hands? Uh, I, can, I like the good thing with the quest is that you can see your hands up. That's my hand. <laughs> Just put it put it the right way around, shall I? First, let us show you how to move around the lodge. You can turn left or right by moving the thumbstick on the controller. So, snap turning. I believe you can change that in the options if you want a smooth turn. Hold the thumbstick up while pointing the pointer and your desired location, and you'll move. Pitting! And then and it'll commence once on front of the TV. So, there we go. So, movement, we've done that. Changing lures uh, by moving thumbstick to the left or right. Is that the same as that's the same as the go? Hold down the trigger button to lift the controller and release the button quickly down. Da, 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 da. Shall we just, on, what was that about wind? Oh no, more wind. Keep keep whirling the controller. That's a spinning, whirling, winding, I don't know. Hook set, yeah, we know that. We know how to do all this. I'm gonna show you this all when we go in and play it. Click, 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 click. I think, come if I actually said now, did I actually skip it or not? But, um, the the game itself asks for sort of permissions for oh you don't you can't move your hands look there's no sort of moving hands they're just sort of solid chunk hands there's no kind of moving your fingers to grab and point and stuff which is a shame but at least we've got the cool sort of ghost quest controller here I do like that um, I do feel a bit short here but I guess that's because I've sat down there may be an option in the settings to reset where I'm sitting. So controller, right or left handed, I'm right handed, so we'll stick with that, see how that works. Movement up here, we can change sort of how fast we are and how snap turning looks like it's only snap turning is, oh no, that's smooth turn. Snap, fast, slow. Uh, we shouldn't need much movement around. We'll do real time day, which means in here, like at the moment in the UK, it's night time, so outside the lodge, it's night time. How about that? Uh, did a move. We'll do fast walking. So I think I quite like the sort of uh, idea of walking around. Oh, oh, that's a bit weird. Oh, that's a bit weird. You don't use the left stick to move around. You still use the right stick to kind of push yourself forward. That's a little strange. But you can come out here. Oh, this is nice. Nice and relaxing. Pretend to sit in the chair. Oh no, I'm actually sitting in the chair. I put my arms on the on the arms. Arms in the arms. Enjoy my fishing lodge. Can I just get off now? Yep, there we go. We can just push straight off. I get back in here, please. Open the door. We can come in here. I think we can sit on these chairs and stuff as well. Yep. Sit next to the fire. We've got some line and lures and rods and stuff here. I don't think they actually sort of do anything. They never did it on the, the go. Um, I think when we're here, I keep trying to use the left stick to move myself backwards and stuff like that. It's the right stick. Uh, so there's the options. Um, I can't remember. If I, I keep keep meaning to try and say, but um, the game has like an inbuilt media player. So if you upload your own MP3 files to your Oculus Quest, you can actually play the files while you're playing. So you can play your own music and whatever while you're playing, which is pretty cool. Uh, here's all your tackle. I imagine I've just got all the default stuff to start with. Yeah, uh, you got a store. We can buy different rods with different different sort of attributes, some reels, some lures, uh, some aquariums so over there. You have your aquarium. If you keep fish, I think it's something like one out of every five fish or 10 fish, go into your aquarium or go into your sort of uh, collection of fish. So here you can click on fish, any that you've caught that uh, go into here, you can kind of enable and they go into your tank and then you can change all these sort of things that you've, yeah. Decorate it in different ways. Some of them are based on sort of achievements that you unlock. So this sort of cabinet over here uh, is like your achievement cabinet. So you can sort of see you get trophies uh, for stuff that goes in here. So I guess we're going to get some more at some point because there are more blank boxes here. But these are things you can do like um, catch a fish at night in a night fishing spot. So you get 10 of them, you get graded level one and so on, so on. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a leaderboard. We've we got any friends in here. Oh, it's all the same person. 
and Mark VR. <laughs> That's not me. Tutorials there. And coming soon is multiplayer. And I believe multiplayer will be some sort of PvP type um, battling for each other. So let's click on South Korea. You've only got South Korea at the moment. Uh, 15 levels, I believe, if it's the same as the Go. And they are bringing out some sea locations. I think that's the South Korea ones again, um, sort of soon. So we can click on that and go fishing. And then let's quickly just check on the chat, make sure I haven't missed anything. If there's any important questions. Yes, yeah, so the real, real day and night cycle in your real location is pretty cool. You're yeah, right, GT. Nice, you jumped on quicker than I could to get, do this to do this live stream. Uh, so here you go. So what you get is your fishing rod in your hand. You get your sort of uh, other hand, you pull in the grip trigger, you grab it onto the, no, it doesn't automatically grab it, you grab it onto the reel. It's pretty cool. I do like the quality there, but the cool thing they do with this is they use photorealistic, or they use actual 360 degree photos and give them 3D depth. So these rocks and stuff behind us, they're all, they've all got depth to them. They actually feel like they're there. They're super realistic looking. The quality of the graphics is awesome. The water looks awesome as well. Like, like the detail on that. And then you look around like the houses and the clouds are moving. Did the clouds used to move in the Go version? Hmm. I want to say they didn't, but maybe they did. Um, but you get other things like if you kind of look in the background there, you've got a boat float, um, floating around, sailing around. That's it. Uh, you've got some seagulls. You get different things that happen. Sometimes you come to these levels and different things happen. So some of them happen at different times of the day. Some happen at night and there's fireworks going off and all sorts. But we've got ourselves on easy mode at the moment. So you can see the fish in the water. By sort of flicking left and right on your right analog stick, you change your lures and then the fish change color based on how much they like that lure. So at the moment we've already got one because we haven't played it yet. We're uh, still unlocking it. But we should be able to, I believe, pull in the trigger you flick backwards and we probably want to aim for the green fish because that's the one that's probably gonna like this the most and flick it out and let go and then on the go it was a case of just pulling the trigger and bring it in but this one we're gonna to have to give it a little wind to bring it in which means we can be a little, be a little bit more sort of nuanced with uh, how fast we can reel it in so we need to try and hook a fish it looks like it's oh there we go strike and then we just reel in and you can see, see this bar, you only get this on sort of the easy mode. Oh, 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 that's a bit weird. On the go, you just let go. On this one, you can actually go and wind the other way back. Uh, kind of typical sort of mini game fashion. You've got to keep it out of the blue and out of the red. And when the fish fights a certain way, you then sort of push the rod that way, like you saw the arrow there. And keep going until it gets close enough. And out it comes. And then we've got a fish. Oh, I'm not holding it. Oh, I am holding it. <laughs> there we go. So in the go, that just floats there. You don't have a hand that holds it. So I guess if I... I can't... I can't do anything with it. I thought maybe it will ping back in front of me. That's quite cool. It doesn't kind of flop around with your arm though. So it's like a straight bit of uh, line. But it's still pretty cool that you can get super close to the fish. Uh, oh! Yeah, it was nice. Uh, no, it's not. It's, it's, it's there already. <laughs> <laughs> but now you get to choose whether you release it or keep it. So if you release it, you get experience points that unlocks new levels. Oh, we've got a rainbow now. Was that, was that there before? Uh, and then keep it, you get money, which then gives you abilities to buy new rods, reels, accessories, that sort of thing. But you need to level up as well because you need to level up to unlock some of those things to be able to purchase them. So what I would say for now is you release them. And if we click release, it actually swims away. Boy fish. <laughs> that's pretty cool so the, the i would say i'm sure people want to know how does it look be better than the go i would say apart from having two hands it looks the same i can't see a noticeable difference in anything i mean i'm not looking at them side by side maybe that's something i need to do but supposedly there's some six degrees of freedom goodness so dare i try and walk around let me let me walk over here into the water i'm walking off the camera over here can i go for a splash a paddle i think i can oh no 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 look he doesn't like me look i'm going too far away oh oh it's gone dark 
Oh, how far before it kicks me out completely? I haven't got much room in my room to be moving around. Oh look, now this background is looking a bit weird. Let's get back over there. Let's get back over there. Hang on, I need to put my headset up a bit so I can see where I'm going. So, you can move around, but what I would say is the view that it gives you is kind of really dependent on the graphics that it does from being in this location. You start going out of it, you start sort of breaking the, uh, the trick to how they make this look so good, but it still looks pretty cool. And to be fair, in fishing, unless you kind of like, I don't know, fishing spots, you don't move around that often. You just hunker down and sort of keep fishing. So let's try and catch some more fish, shall we? Oh, that wasn't where I was aiming for. I was trying to aim for there. Let's reel in nice and slow. Get some fishes going on here. It definitely feels like I reel in a lot faster than I ever did on the go. Ooh, we're gonna have to reel in super, super slow. There we go. Right. Come on, you. Come on. You're gonna reel in you as fast as you can. Can I? Can I double? Can I double reel? Oh no. And up it goes. And the huge fish. Look, I can grab it here. We go. Why is that? I don't remember grabbing that before. Is that in the Go version? Round-tailed paradise fish. Rare. That is an awesome looking fish. I don't think I ever saw one of those on the go. I'm pretty cool. I kind of want to keep it just in case it comes to my uh, my uh, my aquarium. I think it's like one out of every six fish or five fish or something. Uh, go to your, oh, I put the wrong strap on. I put the strap on for the wrong hand strap. <laughs> don't, don't fall. You're away from the screen. You wanted me to keep that on screen, didn't you? Yeah, it's only six subtle sort of six degrees of freedom. I mean, this moving your hands away is a big difference to the go. So let's try and cast over there. I seem to be casting a little bit to the to the left there. Let's try and reel in nice and slow because it feels like I'm reeling in a lot faster. I almost kind of want the option to toggle on just button press reeling like the go just in case I wonder if there's the option for that let's press the menu where's the menu button no oh it took a photo it took a photo by pressing x oh pressing y brings up the menu and then you kind of use your right stick so let's see if there's any settings so music ambient sound left and right controller difficulty how tall you are oh here you go look you make yourself a bit taller a bit shorter if that makes you feel a bit better and then you can jump around sort of levels so there are actually sort of here, 15 levels at the moment <coughs> or go back to your lodge and you can change your gear from here which is nice <coughs> one thing i do need to probably show you at some point is the difficulty changes so if you change it to hard and we put away in the menu you can sort of see the fish have disappeared so now we don't know what what you know what color the fish are but instead what we get is like this fish finder tablet instead so when we cast out, we know kind of roughly where the fish are, as if we've got some sort of uh, little boat sonar that you can get. I always wanted one of those. Those little boats you can sort of send out for fishing lakes and stuff, and um, they drop bait and stuff like that. Yeah, it definitely feels like I'm, I'm like reeling in so much faster than with the go. Like one little turn brings me right in. I mean, the go you kind of like pull the trigger and it kind of does it very quite slowly actually but this is um feels a little bit more sensitive for reeling in and maybe if i do like a bigger turn oh it's got on there is that a fish i think you're waiting for splashes to know that you've got the fish so you're looking at your rod out in the water you can see if you see a little splash go up that means you've got hooked a fish and you need to flick up i think i did get one then and I didn't, I didn't flick up. Oh yeah, look, this is coming in way too fast compared to what I'm used to on the go. I've played a fair bit on the go. I do enjoy the go version a lot. It's one of my favorite games. So uh, keen to play this one. If anything, using two controls, it makes, it makes it less relaxing. <laughs> oh, I'm not catching anything here, am I? What's going on here? 
So this is actually on sort of medium difficulty. The hard difficulty doesn't give you the um, doesn't give you the, the iPad at all. So you're then just playing off um, just playing off sort of you know actual fishing. Let's turn it back on to normal so we can see what's going on. So put my glasses back on. There we go. There's the fish. See, look, we've got some orange fish now, so they're harder to catch. Can we get out of there? I swear I was aiming out a bit out there a bit more. All right, should I just leave that there? Because oh, I took a, I took another picture by mistake. It's under the X button. I see, very easy to accidentally press. Come on, there you go. There we go. We can play it a bit better. At least it's less, a little bit more interesting for you guys if you see me actually reeling in and catching some fish. Look at the seagull up there. You stay away from my fish, you. This is my fish. Uh, this one's not putting up much of a fight. He's pretty much coming straight in. All right. Hey, what we got? A spotted barbel. I kind of want to spin him around. You can, oh, you can spin him around with the uh, left analog stick. Hey, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. They are pretty cool. I wouldn't say they look any crisper than on the go, like the graphics and the resolution, whatever. I don't know. I guess it's one of, as I say, it's one of those things I need to do like a side by side of to really sort of tell. Uh, but let's release him. Bye, fish. And go again. And over there. Because there's loads of fish over there. I went over there. Uh, it's miles off, isn't it? Never mind. Let's go like this. Let's see if I can master sort of the art of straight line. No. What, what are you going over there for? Oh, there's a fish going for it. Go on. Go on. And just, go on, bite it. Go on. Go on. Have it, my son. Have it. You have it? Yes. Go on. Go on. You know you want to. There we go. Man, wriggle him in. You almost need somebody to like pulling your controller away from you. <laughs> Trying to give you some sort of force feedback. Because what could you have? You'd have to have like some sort of. I've took another photo by mistake. <laughs> I'm gonna have loads of photos on my uh, my quest of random shots from the fishing. I keep taking accidental photos. Oh, the right. Oh, and the A does it as well. Right, release. So pressing your thumb down on either A or X will take a photo, and the other two buttons bring up the menu. Hmm, bear that in mind. Right, let's try. Let's try one of the bigger fish over here. Oh, there we go. That went straight that time. Just being a bit more sort of gentle with it. I wanna go on, go on, you nice big one, go on. Trouble is, if they're different sort of colour fish, they can be a harder fish. So they may you may struggle to bring them in. Go on, he's looking at it. Yes, he's looking at it. Oh look, no, he's not. He's he's a he must be a little fish, because uh he's got little red and blue bars. There he comes. Come on you. Oh he's a tiny he's a tiny and a minnow. That's actually quite a big minnow, to be fair. I've seen some minnows in my time. And that's, uh, oh, stage two unlocked. Should we go to stage two? Let's go to stage two. So, stage two, let's go. The Han River. You don't think it'll make any difference? You're right, Rich. You like the vibration when the fish nibble the lure. Well, that's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, it is based on a uh, strain. So now we're in a nighttime one. Pretty cool. I would say if I had some sort of fan on me now, just kind of put a little bit of wind on me, it'd actually feel like I'm sat here um, next to it. But I wouldn't say, like I sort of said before, apart from the god rays coming from that light there, <laughs> I can't see much of a difference on the Quest version compared to the Go. I mean, as I say, I've got two hands, but you know, other than that, this looks pretty much exactly the thing. So if you've got the Go version, I'm not sure whether it's strictly worth buying this version as well. But I do like this game. I do like the guys behind it. They are super, super friendly and super open to feedback and changes and all that sort of stuff. So my line at the moment is red, which I believe is, means it's not ideal for the fish to kind of grab onto. But if I start sort of bringing it in... Go on, get it. Get it, get it. You're just looking at it. Um, yeah, if I, if, I, if I do like two turns of the reel, it starts, uh, oh no, I'm going wrong way. 
it starts bringing it in super fast so yeah um, I'm only catching little fish at the moment what is this Ooh, a bluegill hello bluegill can I turn you around I can turn you around flip flap let's release him bye we well, just about saw him disappear there so let's go over there uh, feels if you kind of cast slowly nice and light you get a bit better angle I think when I was flicking fast it was going off to the left a little bit <clears throat> but now it's going to nice and straight I don't know if kind of like the line being red means they don't like it oh, oh we've got a bigger fish here because it's got a bit more red on it uh, I think we just stopped reeling to gain some to lose some strength um, oh I can hear fireworks hey some fireworks going off while we, while we fish nice all right, up, 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 no, 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 Oh, I got off. I panicked. I panicked when it went into the red. I was distracted by the fireworks. Ah, I'm gutted. Gutted. Damn you, fireworks. <laughs> he distracted me. They're very kind of soft looking fireworks, to be fair. Not super crisp, but it is kind of cool. And let's go. Come on, young fishes. Come on, I can see three of you after it. So like I said before, this is like on easy mode or normal mode. So uh, you can see where the fish are. You can see how difficult they are to bring in to land. Um, but you can change the difficulty. You can change it so you don't even get these markers on screen. Like you don't know like the, which direction you have to face it in or anything like that. Well, no, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't sway with my hand. I kind of want to spin the fish around, like release, bye fish. Right, that's all. That's uh, some big yellow ones there. Come on, we're gonna be able to get these ones. Uh. Oh, so I need to figure whether it's like if I stop reeling, does it go down, or do I actually actually back reel? No, it doesn't matter which way I reel, it goes in. So I guess. If I reel this way, or this way, it's still reeling in, which isn't realistic. So it needs to be one way or the other. There was an option in the menu for both hands, so I don't know if that, that's what that means, maybe. Oh, hello, he's a bit bigger, isn't he? He's a chunky one. A mandarin fish. He's worth seven experience or seven credits. Let's release him. So we want to get that experience bar up. Get ourselves a level three and unlock the next level. Let's uh, fish over there. <sighs> but it is uh, nice and relaxing. I should have put some of my own music on here so you can listen to it. But the sounds are quite good. They are. Are they directional? It's hard to tell. It's like motorways both sides of me. Yeah, I think you just stop reeling for it to go down. Hold oh, up, we've confused him lots of green line let's reel it in we can we can bring it in yes yeah, so it kind of feels like I should like have some sort of some sort I should I should reel backwards where to loosen it rather than just stop reeling but I guess that's like using the um, the clutch on the reel I guess you're letting the clutch do its work uh, that's an issue boy carp common carp you get those in the UK. Let's try over this way. Hey up, foos. I'm trying to read some of the chat. Rich Forsyth, you the best Oculus Quest user, Remarkus. Thank you, mate. I won't, I won't say I am. <laughs> but uh, I do enjoy playing the games trying to entertain and inform a little bit where I can well, I'm not getting any big fish yet I think what you do need though to, I think to catch, to catch the bigger fish is the bigger kit so we're gonna release you or oh, what was he Korean Actra fish uh, let's go back over here because there's loads of oh, press the wrong button I kind of want I kind of want to just pull the trigger to bring it in I want to be lazy oh Ah, oh, another smallie. 
Another Somali. See, I want to reel backwards to slap the line off. Although letting go of the reel definitely kind of loosens it faster. So if you release the grip trigger on the left um, controller, it definitely sort of uh, loosens it fast. So bluegill, great experience. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go over there. And they're interested. Go on, have a nibble. Go on, have a nibble. Go on, have a nibble. I can. Oh, there we go. Look, I can feel actually that on the controller, it nibbling. The fish. Uh, have a little little nibble on the end of that lure. But I'm only getting tiddlers at the moment. I need to probably go back to the. or we'll start cashing in some uh, fish for some money. There's only a little one. A little perch. All right, let's get to level three and then I'll start sort of cashing some in for some money in the next level, maybe. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you find me funny, Richard. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably will do like a, a comparison with the Go version. Um... I've done a few comparisons with some Go games and Quest games before, so it might be a good good way of doing it. But I think at the end of the day, the, the Go was displaying probably some pretty high resolution photos anyway. I just wonder whether the the main sort of extra grunt here with the Quest is just a little bit of six dog figure going on. And, you know, the two hands, the hands maybe look a little bit crisper. It's hard to tell, hard to tell in, the, in the dark. Um, release. Level three. Oh, I got an achievement there as so well. Let's go to level three, and then we'll start sort of uh, catching some fish for monies. Let's get some fish for monies. We like some monies. I expect to you, Richard. This is Oculus Quest. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's got any more features than the Go version. Uh, we've got some duckies over there. If anything, the the biggest sort of screen door effect on the Quest probably actually goes against um, the quality a little bit. But the rod does look nice. Actually, it's not. Oh, you know sometimes where you kind of put things to your head and you can kind of see through them. You can't really, though. Like, you get like, like a weird sort of see-through. You can't hear. You don't actually see through it. It just kind of, I don't know. I'm not sure what happens. <laughs> I think it just doesn't, just doesn't go f any further. Um, what am I doing? All right, I was catching some fish. So now we're in a different location again. We have some nice flowers. Nice little sort of quarry, sort of gravelly sort of uh, bit to sit on here. Some nice trees. Oh, the trees are actually sort of wafting a little bit in the wind. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. I don't know if that happens in the Go version as well. You've got some blossom coming off one of the trees. Is there a blossom tree? Oh, there we go. There's the blossom tree that's coming off. You can hear me splashing my rod in the water here. Splish, 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 splish. The water does look good. Supposedly the textures of the water or something has been improved. Um, but I can't say I can notice the difference. As I say, I think I'm going to need to look at it side by side. Let's cast over where the, the ducks are. See if we can catch ourselves a duck. Is there, are there some chicks there as well? Or is that just mummy and daddy? I think it might just be mummy and daddy. If there are some chicks there behind, they're copying exactly what they, each of them done. So the daddy one ducked down and then the mummy one ducked down. Oh, there is a baby behind the mummy. It just needs to be in front of the mummy so we can see him. Oh, there you go. They're swimming around. I can see the baby now. There's the baby. There's the baby duckling. Different fish, a bluegill. We've had bluegills before, right? Let's keep it for some credits. Ka-ching. We, we get a ka-ching noise, because, you know, we've sold something in a game. What size is that fish there? Go on, go for it. Go on. Doing this sort of thing, I don't think, sort of brings it in or anything, like wiggling it around and, like, pulling on it. Or does it? It's kind of splashing out there. Oh, no, it's not splashing. It's just the pulsing. Oh, left it out there and he got it in the end. 
I would say you make sure you do your straps up on this one, but not that you'll throw the controller, but uh, with the kind of swinging it around like this, you're going to catch your catch your cord on each, oh, each other quite easily. Another bluegill. Let's keep him for some monies. Let's try and get to, I don't know, 50. And then, oh, I launched it just by pressing the button. Is there not like a quick reeling button? I want to go for these big ones over there. Is there? Can I reel in with? I kind of want to reel in with like... So you hold the tr... Oh, I've taken another photo. <laughs> I want to disable the photo taking button. Oh, this is a biggie. Look how big that red bar is. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this is a biggie. It's a daddy fish. Oh, he jumped out of the water. Oh no, can we land this bad boy? He's fighting. He's fighting me. You've just got to play it slowly, play it carefully. To be fair, what I found... Oh, there you go. When they jump out of the water there, you've got to kind of like flick the rod in the direction that it shows you. Um, and then you can stun the fish a little bit. Um, but you, I have found before with uh, the Go version that sometimes if you're, if you're landing a big one, Sometimes it's just going to disappear. Sometimes you're not going to land it. it. You'll get right to the right to the sort of shore, and the thing will just disappear, and you won't be able to land it. But you know, let's just have a, a fun little play with it beforehand. You know, I guess, like I say, if we could kind of back reel to let line off or something, that'd be quite good. Or sort of open the open the arm or something to let more line out. For I'm not sure how that would work but just you know a bit more nuanced control because this isn't much of an upgrade over the go versions control to be fair apart from physically having to reel it's exactly the sort of same process i'm gonna catch a duck now instead oh 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 like at the moment like i'm same as the go version i'm constantly reeling in um i'm so i'm constantly pulling in line but i didn't let this much line out did i <laughs> I can only guess that like at the same time the clutch on the on the rod is letting out loads of line at the same time that's what's happening really you know we'll give it we'll give, we'll give it that kind of video game uh, um, creative license or it's like really stretchy line maybe it's like elastic oh god I'm going to play this thing forever here it doesn't even look like that big, that big a fish Oh, I've been playing this one for ages. Come on, let's go. Oh, let's pull him. Let's just just fight him. There you go. So you sort of, as you sort of see those arrows come up, you got to put put the rod in that direction. And then when they jump like that, oh, there we go. We can get a little bit of a, a thing on in there because he stunned himself. No, no, no. Oh, see, my instinct there was to was to wind backwards, but it's not wind backwards. It's stop winding. Come on, you're a little bit closer. You're almost here. Oh, he's a big fish. Look at him. Look at him. You can see him in the water. Oh, what is it? Oh, I got it. Oh, snakehead. Sorry, that bugger. <laughs> slip, slap, slip, slip. Oh, everyone watch that fisherman's life. <sighs> got a smile on the fish's mouth. <laughs> uh, well, let's keep him. And then we've got 61 credits. Yay! Let's go back to the base and uh, see what we can buy. So where am I going? Level, lodge, go. Woo! Let's go see if we can buy some new stuff. Chicks with ducks. <laughs> attach the rod. You're right, boy brown. How's it going, mate? Could you actually attach it to a fishing rod? Well, maybe you could, and then you get somebody like tugging on your uh, controller to uh hey i was higher than this was it now put me low low down on the floor again is there an option in here for that no there isn't right so store let's go here a little bit uh we probably want some lures lures so we want this one oh sorry 10 we'll have that one soft bait 10 yeah minnow 20 we've got 20 more oh unlocks at level four so we need another 40 for those two so we've got three more baits to try. Can we buy anything else in here? 20, no. 
got that. No rods. No, they're all like a hundred each or more. Aquarium. We've got a stone wall for a hundred. At the moment, it's a bit boring. Oh, actually, can we put anything in our aquarium? Have we got any fish? Fish, fish, fish. Do any of them? No. So none of the fish we actually kept are here, are they? Because they'd. Oh no, hang on. Bluegill was that got? There you go. Bluegill. That was blue. Which means there's a fish, so there'll be oh, and this one here, all oh, the round-tailed paradise fish, which is my, like my super rare thing, is now in the tank. Hello. Ooh, my hands in the tank. Hey. Can I can I go in there with the fish? Can I can I go in there for the fish? Hello, I'm in there with the fish. <laughs> Come here, fish. You look bigger in here. You weren't this big. When I caught you, you seem bigger. Oh, it's like you can actually see the the lighting through the water there. That's kind of cool. All right, that's a, that's a little bit weird. But if you want to, you can walk around the uh, the cabin through into the aquarium. But we won't do that. We won't break the game uh, entirely. Right, let's back up and go test out our new kit, shall we? So where are we going? We'll go to map. Level three, yeah. So we should hopefully be able to land more bigger fish. <laughs> it is graf graphically impressive. It was graphically impressive on the um, Oculus Go. Yeah, the Go doesn't have vibration. That's a good point. Um, I, I probably could have done with some scuba gear. I guess I can't go scuba in here. So now we've got more um, lures. We press. We can press the right analog stick left and right to flick between them and now you can see the fish kind of change color when you change the lure so what you want is if there's a particular looking fish you want so a nice big one you want them to be green and then maybe the other things you know orange or red so you don't catch them um although this big daddy over here doesn't seem to mind exactly what he wants oh no that didn't work Let's see if we can catch this guy here. Oh, that yellow one that came right over. Let's have a look. Uh, do we, should we just leave it there? See if we can tempt him. I'm not going to reel. The line's red at the moment, which I think means they don't like it. But if we keep it white for a second. Oh, there we go. We've got somebody interested. Let's go. All right, well now we're just going to unlock levels. Until we can unlock some more levels. So see how many levels we can get through. So what time is it? 20 to 10. We'll try. Oh, well, that was close. I was in the red loads there. All right. Let's go up. And there we go. All right. Keep reeling, keep reeling, baby. Keep reeling them in. Keep reeling, 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 reeling. Oh. And flick him up. And what do we get? A common carp. Wee. Oh, actually, I should tell you something I wanted to do. I should be wet now, shouldn't I? <laughs> I should be wet. Um, but I'm not. I'm dry. Some some would say I'm wet. A bit wet, but right, what we're doing, we're releasing, aren't we? So we get money. So buy carp. You should be able to like, put them back down. Or maybe if you keep things, you put it in a, in a keep net. So you keep it, you put it in a keep net, you release it, you release it into the water. That's what it should do. Now you can actually sort of physically reach out and do things. That kind of makes sense. So let's uh, let's try out for this green one, green guy over here. See, so, oh, I messed that up. Uh, let's just reel that in. In the go, it's quite easy to go. Oh, oh, what happened there? Turn me. All right, you can reset your view. That's quite good. Um, oh, what's going on here? It's like recentering me for no reason. It's like juddering. Oh, there we go. Some weird sort of tracking going on. Oh, she doesn't remind me. I do need to plug my power back in. I don't want this running out of battery while I'm playing. And I've been wandering around. I took the power out. Let's go, baby. Come on. Over this way. Yep. 
So maybe I'll turn the difficulty up so you can kind of see what it's like without any of these prompts. So you, you turn the difficulty up and you don't even get these on-screen things. Oh, I just flicked that up for no reason. Korean Piscivorous. Seven. Bye, fish. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, power. Power. Sometimes power is needed. And here's the glory of magnetic cables is... I can put it on without seeing, he says. There it goes. Plugged in. Right, so let's turn on hard difficulty. Let's turn on the hard difficulty, shall we? It's expert. So, controller, both. Can I just do... Oh. Can I just do right? What happens there if I do that? Oh! If you just tur turn on just one controller, you can just use you can just use your squeaky. I've got a squeaky right trigger to reel in, so it's a bit more like the Go version. So you can make it actually like the Go version. Okay, well we'll turn that off anyway because I want to keep reeling. So both. Oh, so that did that select it? It did. Okay, so now I've got both hands again. Right, so bail arm off. Let's just flick this out. As you can see, we get no markers telling us where the fish are in expert mode, and then when you reel in. You literally are looking for splashes. And I guess vibrations, I guess, with the Oculus Quest controllers. So you don't know where the fish are. You don't know what they're up to. What I would probably suggest you do is like turn on the, the normal or the medium mode or the hard mode um, just for a second to get a kind of an idea of which lure will get which fish and then turn on the expert mode Otherwise, you could be here fishing against fish that have absolutely no interest in what you're trying to give them. And you'd be spending hours doing nothing. But I guess that's kind of part of the fun. Flicking between your different lures. And I'm getting zero interest. I do know that... Oh, there we go. There we go. So like now we don't get any markers, nothing on screen. All we've got to go by is the, is the, re, is the line colour. So the line is red or green at the moment. If it goes red, like it's there, it's splashing around in the water there. Look, it's gone blue, so we need to make sure we kind of bring up the slack. It's now sort of fighting to the right, so we're going to push to the left. Um, so we, you've got to kind of keep an eye on the water rather than... Oh, there you go. That was actually kind of quite easy. Uh, common carp. Usually you guys would put up a lot more of a fight. Uh, common carps I've caught in this country, in the UK... Put up a lot of the fight, but there we go, let's release him. So this is a bit more realistic fishing, shall we say. So still pulling the trigger, cast out, and then just sit back and relax for a few hours with a cold, cold bevy. We don't call them bevies in this country. <laughs> Can I do it from just sitting down like this? I would put my feet up on my chair in front of me, but my cat's asleep on it. I don't want to disturb her. Just leave that there. A bit like carp fishing. If you ever do carp fishing, you kind of just put your bait out and wait. But I guess the trouble is because you're playing on this at the moment, you don't really know where the fish is coming or not. Which, to be fair, is kind of realistic. You quite often put out bait in real fishing and sit there for hours, not realizing that you, you know, you're under some weeds or something that a fish will never find you. Oh, so yeah, if you flick out too quick. It seems to kind of go off to the angle, go off an angle a little bit. Um, let's get one little reel. I think you've got to kind of like give it a little. Oh, I can see. I can feel. I can feel a little vibration. I can feel a little vibration. Oh, there we go. All right, reel him in. Come on, you. Oh, red line, red line. Oh, he's going that way. He's going right. Oh, there we go. So you got to. So this makes it definitely kind of a harder game well is it harder though i'm sure it's harder but you've got to pay a bit more attention to the water oh oh super loose super loose 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 all right let's go he's going that way he's going that way oh no it's gone blue oh hello i do find with the six off because i'm wafting this control run it automatically gets the fish out so a leather carp that's a pretty cool looking fish Flip, flop, flop. Uh, I want realistic flipping. I want to flick it. <laughs> uh, two times bonus. 
So let's, because uh, because I've got it on the harder setting, I'm getting more money. So we can release to get more experience. Stage four unlocked. Let's go to stage four, baby. So keep it on. Um, I'm th I think I think the the hard setting also uh, as well. Big catch DLC. Hmm. Well, they are bringing out sea fishing. So if you end up catching like tuna and swordfish and stuff like that. Yeah. Thermos of tepid team. <laughs> there you go. That's that's what you can do. Oh yeah, I maybe need to check that on the Oculus Go for the resolution increase. I've done it before, but I kind of think, you know, it just burns more power. Is it worth it? So like here now, we don't know where the fish are. So now we're actually on a boat. I don't know if you heard, when you could join the level, the boat does kind of go do, 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 as if it's running down. So it's a pretty cool looking boat. I guess we probably could walk around the boat a little bit, but I can't walk across the boat over there because my table's in the way. Yeah. But there's a bridge. We've got somebody camping over there, maybe. Uh, try to see if there's anything sort of that shows life. I guess it is raining, which I don't think we've seen rain yet. This does feel like I would be getting wet, <laughs> but it's a bit warm in the UK at the moment, so it's not exactly sort of a close representation of this. Although saying that, maybe it is because you do get hot, rainy days, don't you? All right, let's. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll turn on. Uh, normal mode just so we can see where the fish are see like if we put this lure out now everything's yellow or orange or red so we wouldn't catch anything so we want some green stuff so we want this lure on or that one let's keep the worm on and then we change it back to expert and now we know <laughs> kind of cheating <laughs> but it's a bit more interesting for you guys oh so now look at my hands my hands definitely look wet, don't they? Look, compared to kind of where the way they were before. Oh, we're on, we're on. Fish on. Let's keep going. Oh, oh, red line. Oh, he's going that way. Come on, mate. Oh no, blue line. Let's go. If I'm bobbing this right hand up and down all the time on my whole body, I guess with the go you don't really have that unless you kind of. Oh, where's he going? Oh no, red, red, red. No, oh, there we go. Oh, it's blue, it's blue. He's almost here, he's almost here. Hey, oh yeah, what is this? A mandarin fish. That looks like you would hurt. If you kind of run your hand down there. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> I want to grab him and go, yay, pitch time. I want more interaction with the fish. I want to play with the fish. I want to keep the fish in my fish store. Like in here, if I want to keep him, or I chuck him back in the water if I don't want to, if I want to release him. So by uh, sticking on an expert, you technically do unlock the levels a little bit quicker. Anyway, well, you do unlock the uh, everything a bit quicker, to be fair, because you get two times everything. Oh, we're on. That was nice and quick. Oh, this one's not putting up much of a fight. Is it a baby? Is it a tiddler? Is it a minnow? You can catch goldfish in here. I've had goldfish before. Well, this one's just coming straight in. Oh, a uh, little bluegill. Yeah, a little bluegill. See, so keep him. Release him. <laughs> uh, let's go over here. I do like that my hand looks wet. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it looks on the go. I don't think it does, but I'm not, I can't be sure. I'm, I'm trying to think. Oh, we're on again. Oh, they like this. They like this lure, don't they? This is a popular one. Oh, it's red. Oh, there you go. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, baby. No, it's red. It's red. Oh. Oh, I want to. I want a back reel. I want to like to loosen the line. I want to reel the other way. Or I have some sort of clutch control to go. Oh no, 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 undo the clutch. So it feels like like the buttons on the right stick should be like clutch control, like up and down, or tight and loose, and then just keep it on the left hand stick that you've got the menu and. Uh... Oh, the size of this bad boy. 
Hey, common carp. Ooh, what have we got in pounds and inches? That's not what we do. That's not what we do in this here country. I'll say that you still talk about fish. Uh, 1.7 pounds. That's got to be heavier than that. That's like a seven or eight pound fish, that is, surely. That's, that's, that, that makes it sound like a tiny fish. A 1.7 pound. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, release him. Bye. Oh, level five unlocked. You know where we're going? Level five. Go. See if I've got any comments to catch up on. Marcus, how would you say the quest compares to the Go in terms of visuals? Ex example, field of view, colors, screen door effect. If you're saying field of view, pretty much exactly the same. Colors, I would say the quest is more vibrant, like the, everything's brighter, a bit more contrasty. But the, I'd probably say the quest is the Go is probably a bit more realistic. But you know, some people like that kind of vivid look. Uh, screen door effect is definitely more visible on the quest compared to the go absolutely the go the the pixel arrangements for the screens are different so there is more of a screen door effect on the quest although to be honest once you're sort of playing and in games and just using it you kind of forget about it um, it's nowhere near as bad as the original rift was uh, that looked like a bag full of gold balls um, but this is pretty good uh, there's no multiplayer yet Oliver it is coming uh, yeah, it is good, isn't it, Dave? It is good. Um, and what else? Did you say anything else? No. Ah, oh, thanks, Guinea. I am the, the authority on these sort of headsets, am I? All right, now let's, let's turn this on to normal just for a second. I don't want to be casting out, catching nothing. Oh, although I do want the big fish. Look at those big fish up there. I've got anything to catch those. No, I haven't. They go yellow. Hmm. Should we try it? Let's try. What is this thing on here? I can't. Uh, uh, I want to get closer. I can put my control on the floor. Oh, that's a uh, an interesting thing to happen. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh! Now I'm holding back to front. There we go. All right. Let's uh, let's turn it back to uh, expert. Right, so bail arm back, and out we go. See if we can get these guys interested over here. Give a little, a little, a little reel. Oh, I can see a little, feel a little nibble. I can feel a nibble. A little haptic feedback. Go on, go for it. Go on. Oh, here we go. We're on, fish on. Oh, where's he going? He's going that way. Uh, no, oh, no, it's blue, it's blue. Blue's just as bad as red. Where's he going? Is he coming straight at us? Alright, that's uh I don't know if you can see the splashes in the water, but that's what you're looking for. Like you see it splashing left or right. You gotta kinda of fight it the opposite way. If you do it right and do it well, you can kind of stun the fish a little bit to get a little bit of extra sort of real time in on it. Here we go. Hello, leather carp. Oh look, holding them up to the sun. Oh, we didn't have a look around this location, did we? So this isn't the most picturesque one here, but we've got kind of like a, I don't know what you call this, muddy, stony sort of background, but it is nice. The sunset here, or sunrise maybe, is quite nice. Uh, I can't see anything around. I'm sure on this one I've seen ducks and stuff or maybe before, but let's uh, release. So that was only a two and a half pound fish. That's a bigger fish than two and a half pound, surely. Is it, do you think it's like, not right. That was bigger than a two and a two and a half pound fish. I've caught seven or eight nine pounders that are about that big before. Oh oh oh! I can feel I can feel the nudging. Oh the nudging! Let's go. Hey oh red! Oh it doesn't look like a very big one. That's like a diddy one. He's putting up a little bit of a fight, but he's mine, he's mine, he's not getting away. Here we go. Bluegill. I've got enough of you, bluegills. Let's go away. Alright, let's go over here this time, shall we? Whoa, here we go. We've got a little flock of birds in the sky. I do like that sort of lens flare. 
It's kind of nice. The water does look nice. I mean, the water looked nice on the go. I can't. I mean, and I think they've said it's better on the quest. I can't. I can't tell if it is because it looked good on the go, but uh, it still looks good here. Nope. Again, this fishing pretty easy, so it must be a a smally. And it is another bluegill. Oh, the menu getting higher and higher. Release. Alright, oh, let's go straight out in front of us. Ooh. We try and wing it, like filling it as far as we can next time. I think red, when it goes red, it means there must be interest in it. And that's time to leave it. But the go, it just felt a little bit different. And now you got to reel in. It's, it feels like reeling in is a bit more important. Not sure what it is. I'm not sure whether the fast reading or slow reading makes any difference. Oh, must have stunned him. Get him in, get him in. Here we go. A mandarin fish. My mandarin fish. A mandalorian fish. Should we, should we try and wing it? <clears throat> Eh, I won't say that one out any further. Didn't go straight. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. <sighs> it's a sun, a peaceful Wednesday. It's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, Wednesday. I'm going to uh, Stonehenge tomorrow. I've never been to Stonehenge. Taking the kids and the wife. Check out Stonehenge. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I have to prepay for our tickets now. A 50 quid for the family to go look at some stones in the ground. I don't think I'm getting anything here. But I thought, you know, it's one of those places you've got to go. Kind of famous really living in the uk i yeah, should be oh that was that was landed right on that fish Ooh, practically landed in his mouth Ooh, hoo, hoo. oh although it doesn't look very big because it's coming straight in he obviously obviously he got up to the surface for a bit of air and i dropped the lure straight into his face beautiful sunset grade one push the trigger to close nice Beautiful sunset. I should take a picture like this. No, wrong button. When I actually want to take a picture, I'll press the wrong button. <laughs> the menu button, like the, the left menu button on the, on the quest control doesn't do anything. That should bring up the menu, at the very least. I don't think a button should bring up the menu, especially when there's a, there's a dedicated button to it. I don't think it does anything. So I think there could be some more nuance to the... Uh, the controls a little bit. Did we just unlock another level, didn't we? Oh, well, I just pulled the trigger to try and reel in. <laughs> oh, I can feel some nibbles. Oh no. Nibble, 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 nibble. Yes! Is it a biggie? Is it a smallie? What we got, lads? What we got? What we got? I'm thinking it's a smallie because it's coming right in. Yeah, it's not a tiddler. He ain't, he ain't no monster. Hey, another one of the same. Let's uh, see. We wanna we wanna get this menu out of the way so I can take a nice picture. How do I? Like I want that menu out of the way while still holding the fish. Otherwise, I won't go like this. Let's take a picture. Ketchup. Oh no! Did that take the picture when I press the button, or when it flashed? <laughs> <laughs> Release. Hey, stage six unlocked. Stage six, here we come. So it doesn't take long really to unlock all the levels. In one kind of couple of hour playthrough, you can probably up upload, unlock even, most levels. Oh, thanks to Death Toad on Twitch for following. Thank you, mate. 
what's guardian system mean oh well, you, oh yes you guys talk about which is better for yeah if you wanted to just play this in the dark in your bed then yeah the, the go version is probably gonna be better because i mean people not the guy they kind of think that the quest is kind of the replacement for the go it's not there are different devices for different people for different reasons um you know you get the one that's suitable for you i mean the go is half the price of the quest so you can't directly compare them i mean you could say i guess is it better to have two goes so you can play multiplayer games and chill out with a friend or one quest and play on your own with strangers yeah you know you could you could maybe fairly compare it that way <laughs> Because you buy two goes for the same price as a quest, as a one quest. Oh, the line's red on. So it is definitely sort of red line means this interest. So you gotta leave it. It doesn't need reeling in. You just leave it and leave it and leave it until that, and then you reel like your life depends on it. Because reeling super fast doesn't make it much of a difference, I don't think. But. It is the best fishing game on the go and the quest. <laughs> it does look awesome. And I do, I have spent many an hour on the go playing this. I think on the quest it could be even better though. I think there are some sort of control changes they could make to make it a little bit more realistic. Whether they just make them sort of optional sort of controls. If they want to kind of keep it a little bit arcadey, that's fine. But Oh, no! Slack lines! No, slack lines! Oh, have a look around this area before. Look, we've got a swan over there. We've got some big rocky sort of background to this this time. Pretty cool. And then we've got some sort of... I'm not sure what that is over there. That's some sort of structure. But I guess it's keeping an eye on this reservoir. We've got a flock of birds in the sky. Clouds moving. Yes, I think so. Slowly. Although, is the sun moving with them? No, I don't think it is. The sun's staying there. It is nice. Oh, the water's nice. It feels like I want to paddle in the water. I want to stick my feet in. Oh, it's actually quite nice to stick my feet in some ice cold water right now. Ooh. Splash, 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 splash. Anyway, what are we doing? Catching fish. So we try and catch that swan. Ah, oh, I missed him. Oh, we've got red. Oh, we've got some play on the line. You can see the tip of the rod tweaking. And you get a little bit of vibration in the controller. And all you got to wait for is the splash and the flick. Then you give it a flick and then you reel. And the game is on. So for those that are joining and you haven't been watching for a while, this is being played on the expert setting. If you turn it on to the normal setting, you get um, sort of on-screen prompts to help you sort of uh, know what to do when you're fishing. Uh, maybe I should turn that back on again just for a little bit so people can kind of see. Let's just turn it back on to, to normal so you can kind of get a better idea. So if this is on normal, there we go. You can see the fish so you know where to aim. You know the colour corresponds to how well a fish will like that particular bait or lure that you got in the end. So you see all the fish are looking at it there. Look at them. Look at them. All of them interested. Go on. You can make sure that the game is not tricking you when you're casting out in the middle of some fish. And look, now we've got like an actual sort of bar on screen that's kind of, you know, um, prompt that kind of tells us what we need to do. So we need to reel in, keep it out of the red, keep it out of the blue. You stop reeling when it gets too close to the red, you keep reeling when it gets close to the blue, and you just gotta keep it going until the fish eventually comes to you. So green line, the fish is stunned a little bit. You can start to see the little fish stunned logo. And there we go. And in he comes, green flick. And now we have a Korean Piscovarus. Pisc Piscovore. Piscor. Piscivorous? Piscivorous. <laughs> but that says it's 1.2 pounds. That's going to be more than 1.2 pounds, isn't it? It feels like it should be. Well, not that I can feel the weight, but you know. Uh, but you only get, when you put it on the normal mode, you don't get as much 
experience or money. But if you release it, you get experience. If you keep it, you get credit. We're going to release and buy fish. Uh, I just didn't want anyone to think that that was it's always in hard mode. Hope you bring the Insta360 to Stonehenge. Hmm. I might bring the uh, the Evo. Yeah. Do you want some? Although I don't think you get close enough to get some proper sort of 3D depth, but why not? I guess if I can get close enough and just have a little sort of couple of minute shot off Stonehenge, it'd be worth putting on the channel. I'm sure people will have a look at that. <sighs> oh, you have the Odyssey Plus. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I have been tempted to get myself a Oculus Rift, um, but I've resisted so far, but I'm still tempted. I do kind of feel that PC VR wired, even though you can play like PC VR on the Quest um, with like virtual desktops. I was playing No Man's Sky the other day on the Quest. That was awesome. That was playing really well. And I still haven't gone back and played any more of that since. I've just been too busy, but um, playing PC VR games on the Quest is cool. But I kind of think, you know, you're always kind of worrying that your battery is going to run out or, you know, the quality is not as good visually as it could be if you're using a dedicated headset. So I'd quite like a Rift S, but I can't justify the cost of one just yet. Um, I would do videos on it and stuff, but yeah. Oculus didn't really like me nice uh, enough to send me free uh, headsets. I had to buy my own Quest. <laughs> and my own uh, Rift of Hormone. Love the sunshine. So I caught some fish in the sunshine. Piscivorous. <laughs> Release. Although releasing these fish at this rate is going to take forever to unlock anything. I feel like I need to turn it back to expert mode. So let's catch one more fish on, on beginner mode. And then we'll take, take it back to... Uh, expert to uh, increase the gains. Look at that orange fish there. That was a big fish. Do you see it? it was over there. Ooh. Maybe what we need to do is find out which bait that fish likes, switch it, and then switch it onto expert mode so we can kind of uh, catch him. <laughs> Ooh. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, I do like the play mechanics, though. The thing is, it feels quite rewarding to play the fish. What is that? A crustacean carp. That looks different. Looks snubby. But see that? It only says it's one point one pounds. That's a big fish for one point one pound. <laughs> Release. All right, we want to see where that big fish was again. Is it still there? It's still there. Which bait does he like? Oh, he doesn't really like any. He likes maybe this one. All right, we'll keep on that one. Let's change the difficulty back to expert. And let's see if we can catch him. Get a bit of a reel. He was about there. Let's see if he's got any interest. No interest at all. Come on. Who a little, little reel? You interested? Come on. I do kind of feel when you stick on expert, because you can't see the fish, it's not really there anymore. You know, like the game's tricking you. Little, little reel. No. Uh, all right. Fine. Let's try again. Whoa. Oh, no, that didn't work. No, that's not where I wanted it to go. I wanted the fish over here. All right. Is he there? He was about there. Oh, there you go. Red line, red line. Red line. This fish, let's go, baby! <laughs> Imagine that if that was ASMR. <laughs> Just make you jump out your skin. Now, that's not the fish I want, is it? It's a bloody goldfish. <laughs> Join the goldfish, cat. No, I'll give uh, my cat's here. I'll scratch my cat's head. Here you go, cat. You want the goldfish? You can have the goldfish. 
There you go. Alright, release. <sighs> so you only got three experience for that thing. Uh, let's try again over here. The fish was here. It's about about there. Maybe a little bit closer. Just leave it there. So, how's everyone's day been? It's been good. Hello. I guess you can kind of get down a little bit to kind of try and see. I can't. I'm personally, I'm a bit of a float fisher. I like to see a little float with you know the little orange tip sticking in the water. I'll see. We've got none of that here. We're just literally looking at the. I guess what it technically is like it should be like feeder fishing, shouldn't it? Where you kind of see the tip of the rod tweak. Right, it's obviously, obviously not going to go for it. Right, fine. Right, over there. Oh, it's red already. We've landed on a fish's head. Let's leave it there. Yes. You can upload your own music to your headset, your MP3s, and you can play them while you're what, like while you're um, fishing. So you can have any of your own music that you want. I should have put my own music in here, shouldn't I? My Marcus intro music. Oh, stunned him. Let's get some ground on him. Let's get him in. Oh, yeah, he's quite a fatty, look. That looks like some sort of, oh, it's a calf again. Probably was like a bream. See, only like less than two pounds. That's a huge fish for a two pound, two, two pound fish. Am I wrong? I'm not wrong, am I? That's a bigger than a two pound fish. There you go, like 27 experience in that bad boy. Compared to like three for the goldfish. You hate the fact that you like ASMR. <laughs> Those ASMR channels are a gold mine. Whew. Yeah, I'd like to get the Rift Guinea, but it's 400 quid. I ain't got 400 quid to spare. <laughs> Go back to the cabin, clean them, gut them, all in the sink. Yeah, that could be part of like a little mini game where you get them down, you start scraping off the scales. <laughs> <laughs> you have to gut the fish like carefully with a with a with a fish knife. Um you know like a little mini game you go too far and you damage the flesh. Then you cook it up and you add some you know some hot sauce to it, some franks. Oh, oh, line's red. Oh, got a tweak, got a tweak. Got a tweak, go on, let's go, let's go, daddy, let's go. No, you're gonna go for it. No, you're gonna go. Oh, oh, it's a screamer. The screamer. Oh no, it's too fast. It's ah, oh, he's ah, oh, ah. Oh. He was a daddy fish. I guess the good thing about VR fishing or video game fishing is he has to retie that lure. He obviously snapped it off and just disappeared. But uh, you instantly get another one tied on. Well, oh, I landed on a fish. Look. You can keep ca hooking the same fish that just breaks your line. I've had that before on the Go version. Do, 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 do. Oh, let's go. Oh, this is a normal one. It's a normie. A normie. Let's go, let's go. Hey. Bring this bad boy in. Uh. I mean, I do like sitting down VR games. I know a lot of people don't think VR, sitting down games are really VR. But this is still VR. I feel like I'm sat here fishing on a lake. Hey, level 7. Nothing wrong with this. Just as immersive. All I need is like a light breeze on me. That'd be quite nice. Ooh, yeah, look at this. Ooh, this is nice. Now we've got some black stones behind us and some like little 
bugs and mosquitoes flying around. Huh. Mosquito. Uh. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's nice. But where are the fish, we say? Should we just chance it? No, it's not chance it. I know we sat here for for an hour trying to catch uh, nothing. Let's put the special ga goggles on. So they're over there. Let's catch one on normal setting. Oh, they're going for it. They're going for it. Got four on. Go on, the biggest one. Go on, get it. Have it. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Gets a bit dramatic, doesn't it, when you, you hook a fish? Dun, 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 dun. Cause you know, catching fish isn't like meant to be like the world's number one sport. I think it just means that people that do fishing have got so much money, they spend more on it. The fishing kit is not cheap. Some good stuff is expensive. So if I don't put my hand up, I can go, hello fish. <laughs> Oh, and go, hello, fish. Spin around. So let's release him. Let's change it back to, I don't know, what do I want to do? Let's just double check where the fish are. Let's change up our lures. Let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. I want, I want to kind of limit the amount of fish we get. So we get the most, the biggest fish for the, the least amount of effort. Oh, landed right on a fish, look, red line. Oh, it's tweaking. I can feel the vibrations. Go on. Wow. Yeah. No, it must be a small one because it's coming straight in really fast. Hey, well, he's not a tiny, but uh, he's not huge. You know, I did it with the Oculus Go version of um, the fishing. I took it to a canal <laughs> and did a VR 180 video, sat next to a canal playing it. Work well. Oh, look at that flock of birds up there, look. Oh, they're making the noise. They feel like they're going to come swarm me. Like something like, was it the cell by Mike Crane? Ooh, let's go. Oh, we must be standing this green. I'm st stunning the crap out of this one. Mm. Doesn't know where it's coming or going, look. Woo! What is that? A sea run dace. Take a picture. Smile. Uh, I guess I'm asking the fish to smile because you can't see yourself. Release. Bye, Dace. Right, let's go over there. Feels like the birds are getting closer. Feels like some sort of horror film. The, the birds, I guess. It's kind of cool though. I really wonder if they just like, did, do they just disappear? Do they just appear? Were they here all the time? Or I just didn't notice. Alright, let's go. Got an itch. Uh. Oh, that way. I think if you really kind of turn the rod the way that the, uh, the angle you need to do it is, you best get a best chance of sort of stunning them a little bit. But don't be shy about pointing the opposite way. Like, like that. Yeah, that seems to work quite well. Yeah, on a proper extreme angle. 
And he's like, ooh, I'm stunned. Hey, another one. Look at the size of that thing. 1.2 pounds. That sounds tiny. Hmm, whatever. Oh, whoop. Plug. Oh, landing on a fish again. Ooh. Can I just sit here going like this? And that'll, that'll initiate the, uh, the hook. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's blue, it's blue. Let's go. I feel like I'm being more critical of the uh, the Quest version over the Go version. I think with the Go version, you kind of give it some liberties because, you know, it's the Go, it's one controller. What can you kind of expect? With the Quest, I kind of feel like you should expect more. Like with the controls and stuff. All right, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. It is still awesome and I do enjoy playing this, but I don't know. I feel like I, I want it to be like even more complex, more sort of involved to catch fish. Not the same sort of, basically the same thing as the go. No, get get your money's worth because it's the double the price of the go version. Is it double the game? No. If you've already got the go, is it worth it just to be able to do this with your left arm? No. <laughs> So I kind of want it, I want more from it. And to be fair, I know the, the devs are pretty good about it, so I'm sure they're probably working on other stuff and other changes and that sort of thing. So I wouldn't be surprised if we do see a lot of improvements because we are seeing sort of uh, the sea levels coming soon. So we've got 15 levels in here at the moment, but they're adding another, I think, I think it's three or is it five? Um, coming soon. So uh, they've already kind of put out some teaser videos and stuff like that for it so it's worth kind of getting those I mean I assume they're going to be free updates yeah I'm sure I'm sure Reddit's free you want to go cost 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 a quid or something now oh, let's go but they've clearly put a lot of effort into this the guys behind it and stuff are super super friendly like I've spoken to them a few times about it about the game especially on the go um and they are super open to feedback. They take on the criticisms of the community and stuff. If you have any issues or any bugs, they're quick to kind of look into them and get them sorted. They, they, they really, really do want to create a really nice game. Like the game was in beta um, on the go for a long time. For a long, long time. Months and months. Um, since when I very first played it and when it actually came out. Um, so it kind of goes to show they're not they're not out for kind of rip bringing things out as quick as they can. Uh, how are you playing this on the quest? This is an early release, so this is out on the twelfth of September. This is the official quest version. Um, it's just uh, oh yeah. Oh, see you later, getting. I must have missed that. To be fair, Guinea, or if you're still there, oh look, this is this place now. Look, we're on some sort of pebbly beach. Pretty cool. We've got some lights. We've got some nice 3D depth going on. The lights flickering a little bit. That's kind of cool. You've got like a really cool looking bridge. Look at that. You got the cars going back and forth over there, all lighting up the water as well. So it's all reflective. Really, really atmospheric. Feels really cool. And it's probably one of these levels where you get fireworks in this level, so maybe we'll get fireworks later. We've got a moon over there. Is the moon going up? Yeah, I think it is. It's moving up. Right, let's change this difficulty to normal, because I want to cheat and see where the fish are. Uh, what? We change our lures by flicking the right analog stick. Sounds a bit springy, doesn't it, Alice? everyone else's quest controls do that? They're a bit springy. My right trigger on my quest is quite squeaky sometimes. It seems to come and go though. All right, let's try this one because I want to catch the... You kind of want the fish that only like one bait because then you don't get all the kind of crap as well. 
And I say that if lots of things like green. I kind of want that one there, don't I? I want that, that fish there. All right, let's go. Let's go with that one. All right, let's change the settings back to expert. So we get bonus points because we get three times the amount of, uh, or no, two times the amount of experience points. No, no red line means no interest. We're going to reel this in, try again. I swear when you stick out an expert, all oh, the fireworks, you, uh, the fish move places. Woohoo, look at this. Pa boom, pa boom, pa boom. Haha, <laughs> it's kind of cool. Uh, they should like light up the water, shouldn't they? Like they should light up the ground and and stuff like that. Like you should be able to see them kind of coming up in the air on the water's surface. But that's still kind of cool. Nice little touch. Let's go. This sky is where I can kind of see the the screen door effect of the uh, the quest for me it looks like it looks like like a an oily smudge across the screen you know like you get your phone sometimes like you got got yourself like a greasy or a wet finger and you wipe it across your screen and it kind of gives you that kind of like weird kind of look to it it kind of looks like that because it follows your eyes when you move around I mean, it's always been like that on the, on the quest. You can see the screen door effect is more pronounced. Well, I've got, I've got, I've got pretty good eyes though. I mean, maybe other people wouldn't notice. I'm being kind of picky though. I think once you're, once you're in and playing stuff, you don't notice. It's only kind of when you're sat there, sort of contemplating life while waiting for a fish, that I had time to think about kind of ah oh, what ah oh, loose lines. So, because I had time to sort of sit there and oh, what bloody hell! <laughs> Didn't even have time to to get breath. Oh, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, the way. I'll see. Maybe it's the same fish. Come back for seconds. Oh, let's go, let's go. It was coming in quite quick there. Oh no, red, red, blue, 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 green, green, green. He's stunned. Yes. What is it? Korean Piscivorous thingy again. Release. Hey. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. I really should like unlock some money tonight so I could buy some things. What time is it? Half ten. I was going to maybe end about eleven-ish. Another half an hour. Maybe we'll do a little bit more. Not one more level. And then we'll, uh, and then we'll start earning money instead of uh, levels. Because I think we're halfway through the levels. I mean, level seven, are we? Level eight? And then I'll let you guys. Then when you get it, unlock all the rest of the levels. Or if you enjoy watching me play VR fishing, <laughs> we could do another live stream. Uh, woo! Kind of like that effect. Fish is on. Oh wow, this thing's coming straight in. There's a goldfish. It's a goldfish. Under the moonlight. Mm -mm. Under the moonlight. Release. Return to sender. Return to sender. No red. I'm going to reel that straight in. Over there. No red. Over there. Over there. All oh, the fish gone. They're all gone to bed. I've gone to sleep. 
Hello. Uh. The game doesn't want to give me any more fish. Just give me a goldfish. Now it doesn't want to give me anything else. I want something a little bit uh, special, please, people. So change the bait up. Hmm. Again, no red line. I wonder if... Let's change the bait up. Let's try the next thing over. I'm not even getting like a a tweak on the end of the rod just in case you know that was like a like it was bugged or something. But let's try over there. Okay, what's going on here? Is it wanting me to play like realistically now? Ugh. And wait like six hours for a fish. <laughs> Let me have a little look at some questions. No squeaky in your controller. Occasionally I do get a squeaky right trigger. It doesn't seem too squeaky at the moment actually. Seems okay. Is my beard long enough to turn my head upside down? My beard is getting pretty cool. Look at the length of this thing. <laughs> and I see how long I can get it. I want a long beard. I want to, I want it like touching my belly button. It's all along. Oh, there's no fish in this lake anymore. I think they've all gone home. They've all gone to sleep, obviously. It is late, you know. Let's try the next lure. Lure. Any fish? Any fish? Return to the sender. Oh, that's took a bit now. All right, the game's just playing tricks on me. I bet if we turn this onto easy mode, I bet there'll be fish. Normal. Goggles. Yeah, look. Whoa, look at that shark. Look. So we try and get the shark. A bolt right in front of his face. Oh, he's interested. He's interested. Go on. Eat it. What size is that thing? That thing's going to break away, surely, if he does buy it. Oh, he's in. Oh, he's, he's running away. He's ready, making a break for it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, nine times out of ten, if you've got like a fish that you can't catch, that'll happen and it'll just break off straight away. You won't even get a chance to, to start any reeling. All right, we've got a shark on. Shark on, baby. It's not actually a shark. I don't think you can actually catch sharks. Oh, we've got some fireworks to go around with. Go along with it. Shark and fireworks. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Oh. So there's nothing I could do there. He suddenly just went red and he's gone. I blame you, fireworks. You scared him. You made him panic. You made him run away. Oh, look, the moon's gone from over here to over there. Half moon, solar eclipse, or lunar eclipse. How about this green one here? Look, he's, he's huge. Go for it. Go on. Oh, it's another biggie, but he didn't make a, he didn't do a streaming run to start with. But he's a biggie. Maybe he's a better biggie because he's a green biggie. Maybe we can land this one. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, oh. There we go, here we go. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Give him a little whip, get him confused. Doesn't know which day of the week it is. No, 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 no. Oh. Snap. Snap. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Ah, don't worry about it, Frostbite. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Thank you for the two dollars. Just got out of school. You're in schooling and donating money. Eee, that's nice. <laughs> Never much better cash when I was a kid. But uh, thank you, Frostbite. You are 
a legend. Oh, I saw that fish there. Look, look at him. Look at him. He's a monster. Go out and get him. Go get him with our hands. Like a six off, I should be able to swim out there and get him. <laughs> I kind of feel like I wanna, but I know when you go too far, it goes all black, doesn't it? Look how close he is. Look. Oh, there you go. He's going for it. He's going for it again. We're going for this same fish again. He's already broken our line once, but you know, we like to live dangerously. Let's go. You catch none of the fish you try to, you don't try to hook. Is that, is that, is that a saying? <laughs> oh. No, no, no. God, I can size that red bit of the bar. Oh, scary. Oh, flick. Oh, stunned him. Oh, yeah, let's get some. Let's, oh, my, I've got my controller. Strap is flicking everywhere. It's going to catch on my other controller. That's why you should put your wrist straps on. I took it off for some reason. I'm not sure why. Oh. Oh, yeah, come on. What do we think? Do you think this is going to be the biggest fish of the day? Return the sender. Can you hear me? Can you hear me again? Am I back? Am I loud enough? My uh, microphone, my little um, Rode Wireless Go that I use on the side of my headset for my audio. There's a microphone on it and it captures the game audio. But, uh, yeah, to be fair, because I've not used it for like a week, because <laughs> it's been that long since I've done a video. They weren't fully charged. I did stick them on charge for half an hour before I started streaming, but obviously that wasn't enough to get me through. But I'm back. You can hear me. Does I sound loud enough? Do I sound any better? Right, let's go. Oh no, I don't want that. Although I want to see if I can catch... That one. Alright, let's go with that. I want to change it back to Expert. And now we're going to just make money. I want to unlock some stuff. I want to catch some fish. I put them in my aquarium and upgrade my aquarium. <sighs> Return to sender. Let's turn the volume up a little bit, shall we? Um, so the microphone can pick it up. I do have the uh, VR cover padding on the back at the moment and I have 
grown to like it. I think when I first put it on, I wasn't convinced by the comfort, but since I've been using it, actually spot on. I kind of, kind of oh, I need to put the strap back on again. There you go. Um, yeah, kind of real, kind of feel the value in it now because it really does kind of take the pressure off. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know, a little pressure, but I don't know if it just kind of tightens it a little bit for me because I always found like I could want to tighten it a little bit more. And now I can, so credits. Uh, let's go over here. That's loud. Return to sender. Oh no, I reeled it when there's red. There's three seagulls at the moment. There's a rainbow. There's a boat. Like a tourist boat. Let's go. And. Which way to go? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Stab. Hey, beautiful sunset. I was doing keeping. I was keeping money. Seventy bucks. Oh, let's catch a let's catch a bird instead. <laughs> No. No. Right. Let's try over there. Let's get to a hundred, and then we'll go back to base, and we'll uh, buy some upgrades. Oh, I'm not gonna catch any fish now. Am I? It's gonna do that. It's gonna do that annoying thing it did at another level. Give me fish. Try over there. Oh yeah, red. Here we go. Tweak, tweak. Little vibrations. Little vibrations. Oh. Game on. Oh, there we go. Let's go, let's go. Uh, it can't be very big. It's coming right in. Shrink. Spotted barbel. Oh, that is a pretty cool looking fish. Hey, poke it in the eye. Keep. Uh, 15 more, and we'll go back to base. I played too much Go version. I instantly tried to pull the trigger to bring the. Bring the uh, the reel in then. Over there. Now. There. 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 No. Nope. Let's try over that way again. Uh, oh, 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 red. Red. You gotta stay quiet, guys. You're clearly chatting too much. You guys don't turn shit up. You're scaring the fish away. I do kind of stop reeling when they do that thing. I'm not sure if you really need to. I'm sure you can keep reeling, but I'm always conscious that I don't know how far along to that red part it really is. So I'd rather it go to the slack part and reel faster than uh, go the other way. Oh, no, it's gone, it's gone red. It's gone blue. Oh, hello. Oh, he's, he's quite a chunky looking thing. Come on, you. Hey, and keep. Let's go back to base. Do you want to say it? Base, 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 base. A buttery fishy base. Base, 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 base. A buttery fishy base. Right. Let's see what we can upgrade. So let's try and put more fishes in there. 
So aquarium, fish, we can put a common carp in there. We put a mandarin fish, a Korean outcha perch, another bluegill, and that's it. Oh, we didn't get to keep our goldfish that we caught, or our minnow. Right, purchase in the store, aquarium. So how much is that? 200, 300. Oh, oh we can buy the stone wall. Do you want the stone wall? Yeah, we want, we do want some upgrades. I don't feel like we want to, we want a rod upgrade, don't we? So we have spinning rods and casting rods. I don't think there's much. Oh, that's, they cost like a freaking ton more, don't they? Look at that. So all we can do is upgrade to freshwater spinning rod B. I guess we're going to get some sea rods when they release the sea update. Reels, how much are they? 50, 200? That's a bit of a jump, isn't it? Well, that was 100. But I guess that has to go on a casting reel. We're putting it on a spinning reel, aren't we? And then the lures. We can get ourselves a frog. A little squeaky frog. <laughs> I don't think we need that, do we? But uh, I'll, tell you what, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's upgrade our... I don't know if we get these. Purchase it. Come on, either. I need an achievement to get those. How do we get this? What achievement is those to get those? So look. Look at my fishes. Kind of screwing off down there. So which one of these scuba decorations catch rare fish? I need to catch one. Oriental decorations gather credits. Oh, I need 2,000 credits. So 2,000 credits and then not the oriental decorations. European decorations catch big fish. Ooh, so I haven't got a big fish yet. Or fill full glass tank for glass wall aquarium. Catch a lot of fish, 2,000 credits. <laughs> I keep trying to use my right um, analog stick to move forward. It should be that. What's the European decorations look like? Oh, the European ones look like a castle and like a mermaid. Is that like, that's in Bristol, isn't it? That mermaid at Bristol? I feel like that's Bristol. Uh, oriental decorations and scuba decorations. Get a yellow submarine. In a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. Can I not just Can I not just get the green plants? Aquarium. Oh that's two hundred credits. Can't even get them. That's a bit. Let's give you a stone wall. Oh no, where is it? Which I equip it. Stone wall. There we go. Oh can we can we toggle it on and off? He doesn't let you look at it and change it at the same time. <laughs> Definitely clicking on it. Ah, oh, it's, it's, it's tricking me. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Well, there we go. That's a good sort of play of the first eight levels of 15 that are available in real VR fishing. Uh, and I'm open to questions. So if you guys got any questions about me, the channel, anything that's going on, any games you want to play? I think tomorrow, if you guys fancy it, I may do a Cloudlands Mini Golf 2 stream. So if you do have that, if you have bought that, I would like to play with you guys. So um, let me know if you're kind of interested in that. Maybe we'll do that. Let's uh, sit that on silent for now. But uh, we'll probably call the stream there. What's that, 35 people? Looks like we've slowly dipped off as the stream's been going on. Ooh, we got almost like 50 people at one point. Ooh, look at that. Yes, I like Cloud Lane, Cloud Cloud Lanes, Cloud Lands Golf. It's one of my like like um like uh, the fishing. It's one of my favourite sort of go games. So to get more of it on. Whoa, Chad, with a ten dollar dono. Whoa, Chad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> You're waiting to the end there, weren't you? You want to make sure you got that in. Thank you, mate. I appreciate it. Oh, look, it comes up with how much pounds it is. £8.19. Thank you, mate. You are awesome. I do really appreciate all the donations. I kind of feel bad, though, because you seem to donate every time I go live, whether it's a premiere or a live stream or whatever, that, you know, I'm just emptying your bank account, mate. But I do appreciate it. If you've got it to spare, I absolutely appreciate it. And you're a legend for uh, donating. I appreciate it. Um... 
don't know what to say, but thank you. But uh, yeah, if you guys are up for it, we'll do some uh, Cloudland Mini Golf tomorrow. Cloudland Mini Golf 2. I think one of the things I want to check is whether we get cross play with the Go. Um, so anybody who's got a Go and got Cloudland Mini Golf, um, I know you can play some of the original levels. So it could be interesting to see if there is any cross play. I'm assuming there's not. But if you guys are up for it, let's play some Cloudlands tomorrow and I'll. I'll jump in and I'll have my headset on and we'll, uh, by that I mean I'll sort of scream the audio a bit better. Um, and we'll I'll play with you guys. And then maybe over the weekend I've got a key for end, no I want to say end game, no that's not right, end space, end space, yeah. Um, so maybe we'll play that uh, over the weekend. So. Apologies to anybody who doesn't like live streams at the moment, but that's kind of the position I'm in at the moment with regards to videos. Um, but you guys kind of seem to like them, so I'm going to keep doing them. And um, if you guys want to, you know, I, I kind of, I, I quite enjoy doing them because it's nice to kind of just chat with you guys, have a little bit of a, a laugh and a giggle uh, while we play. Um, but cool, yeah, Corrick, if you want, yeah, absolutely, Chad, Corrick, yeah, if you want to play some um, Cloudlands with me tomorrow, well, I'll, play, I'll jump into kind of public games and we'll open it up to everyone, sort of thing. And I'll jump in and out. Maybe I'll just do like um, like half, like nine round, not nine rounds, nine holes, and then like start a new game each time, sort of thing. So we can kind of get as many sort of people in as we can, um, playing sort of thing, playing with me and that sort of thing. If you guys fancy it, but yeah. Let's uh, let's make it a date. Let's tee up tomorrow and play some Cloudlands mini golf. I know it's not called that, is it? It's just called Cloudlands Two. For some reason, they've dropped the mini golf part. Not sure why. I quite like the mini golf part. Made, made, made it so you knew what it was. But uh, I guess they maybe think that you know what it is now, being Cloudlands. Um, as I say, it was one of my favourite games. But touching back on um, real VR fishing, absolutely gets a thumbs up. It's almost a shame that it is double the price. It's not technically double the game over the Go, but it is kind of the way that all Go games on Quest seem to go. Uh, double the price so you know it's kind of something we've got to live with it is cool it is very cool it does play really well i think given it's on the quest it'd be nice if it had some sort of tweaks to make it a bit more involved with the controllers like maybe playing with clutch and other things like that would be quite good um and i hope this comes to the quest what do you mean the uh Real VR Fishing is Quest. This is the actual Quest version I was playing. It comes out on the 12th of September. 12th is 12th, isn't it? Let me just double check. Is the 12th? Yeah, 12th of, of September even. Did I say December? So, I feel like I said September. 12th of September. It'll be priced at £14.99 or £19.99 in dollars. Um, it comes with enhanced overall gameplay physics. Which I think mainly that's you're able to use two controllers. I wouldn't say it's that enhanced. As I say, I'd like it to have a little bit more. Would be nice. But I know the guys behind the game are super passionate about it. And I'm sure they're probably be looking to add some new stuff to it anyway. It says polished UX for 6 DOF experience. So user experience for 6 DOF experience. Which again, can't touch this on the first part I just said. And enhanced graphics. New shader for water and background. Um, I mean, as I said, what, just playing it there, I couldn't tell the difference between that and the Quest, but I think I need to look at them side by side. What they have said, coming in quarter four 2019 is multiplayer co-op, so that'd be quite nice, to kind of be sat fishing while chatting to a buddy. That'd be pretty cool. I like that, I like that idea. Uh, quarter four 2019, five new sea fishing locations. So there's 15 Korean fishing locations now. They all look, they're all photorealistic, all sort of unique, pretty cool. Um, and in a couple of months, they're going to be adding in five C locations. So I assume with that, they're going to bring out C rods and reels and bait and all that sort of stuff as well. Um, Multi-language support will be coming and fishing tournaments, PvP. So I don't know whether that actually should be playing together at the same time tournaments or scoreboard type thing. But I don't know, that'd be kind of cool if there's some sort of, you know, try and, try and beat each other and knock each other off in... Um, VR tournaments, I think that could be pretty cool. Um, 
So yeah, so it is available on Quest come the 12th of September. That's real VR fishing. And does get the remarkable thumbs up. I do like it. I do like the team that are behind this as well. Um, they're really sort of open to feedback and changes. And if you've got any sort of suggestions, do reach out to them. Do join their Discord. Uh, you can find them on Facebook as well if you search for real VR fishing. Join there as well. Chat to them sort of thing. They are really open to feedback. But, oh, you are a reflector mist. Uh, do I have a date for when Echo Arena? If not, any guesses? No, no guesses, mate. I think it's just a case of holding out. There's no real kind of... You don't you don't tend to get sort of many sort of ETAs on games. We know that a few things are being released this week. Um, and it's just a case of just holding out for them to come sort of thing. So, um, yeah. Not the sort of most open of uh, situations at the moment. But, uh, yeah, well, that's where we're at. So... Let me know in the question comments down below if you've got any questions. Do you want to ask me any questions before we we end the stream? It's currently eleven o'clock. I was going to maybe say have a coffee, but I'm not going to have a coffee because that'll keep me up even longer. Let me get some sleep. As I say, I'm going to Stonehenge tomorrow. To see the big rocks in a circle. I've never been. I've lived in the UK all my life. I've never been to see the Stonehenge, so it's about time I did. Taking the uh, taking the boys and the wife. Though it was the wife's idea, she likes that sort of thing. That's be fair, I do as well. We like, we do like sort of um, old stuff, <laughs> like castles and stuff like that. We love going to those sort of things. But no more questions. Is that what we're going to call it? Anything Glenn wanted to ask me or talk about? No. Well. Just to sort of say, apologies for the lack of videos the last few weeks, especially this last week. Um, especially this last week because I've just been a little bit busy, been a bit preoccupied with something else. Um, a few of you will know what I've been kind of looking into. Um, something kind of exciting. I'm hoping it's going to turn out. I'm hoping I can figure out what you're going to work, get to work. It's something I'm super passionate about and I wish I could do. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, mainly because of money, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But it's, um, you know, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> but I'll share more on that when I kind of feel comfortable doing so sort of thing. I'm not sure, I don't want to kind of make it feel like I'm kind of asking you guys to help me do it. Do you know what I mean? I think that's unfair. But uh, we'll see how it goes over the next couple of weeks and maybe then I'll reveal more. But uh you haven't visited Stonehenge in VR yet either. No, I guess I haven't, but I'll tell you what I will do. I will take my um, VR camera, which is actually a good point, actually. The guys behind the Vuz XR camera got in touch with me the other day saying um, they've updated their camera and their firmware and stuff. So maybe I need to dig it out and maybe I'll use that while I'm away there at Stonehenge. Hmm. means I need to dig it out now, update it and charge it for tomorrow. But it's doable. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Grab the Vuz XR camera. The camera. It's got the two little lenses to go. Uh, thanks for the video by AMVR face mask. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm, at the moment, though, I'm, I am using the VR cover. Is it the VR cover? Yeah, it's the VR cover. Also. It's the VR cover interface with their new thinner padding, which I quite like. And I do have the, the back padding on as well. I don't know if you can see that there. Can you see that there? So yeah, on the back there, there's like padding. I've got a video on this as well, so you can kind of see it if you want. I do like it. I think when I first put it on, I think you'll probably see in the video when I was kind of reviewing it, I wasn't overly sold on it. I was kind of a little bit hesitant, but now I've been using it, it's definitely kind of cupping that little bit at the back of my head a little bit nicer. And it, uh, I don't know if it does, but somehow it feels doesn't feel as heavy. I've always kind of felt that the Quest feels a little bit heavier. I don't know what it is. But it's just that little bit snugger, because I think that that does help. Or or maybe it's this padding here, because this padding that they've now sent is the new thin padding. Your head is a lot bit cl lot close together, and they've got a, like a really fat sort of padding. But then if you've bought bought the AMVR, if you've bought the AMVR padding already, um, the audio is low. I'll tell you what I did. Uh, how about that? Is that better? Is that better? Oh, I'll tell you what, look, you see this? These are my new, new two figures. Okay. While, while we're doing a more casual thing, I bought two Mortal Kombat figures the other day. 
that. Boing. Boing. And can't have Scorpion without Sub Zero. Two bobbleheads. I call them a bit of a bargain because I went into the shop, I saw the Scorp the Sub Zero one, I was like, well, I gotta have the Sub Zero one. And it said 30 quid on it. I was like, well, sod it, I want it. Because I do I do like Mortal Kombat, I do like Sub Zero and Scorpion. Well sod it, I want it, it's gonna look cool on my shelf, I'm gonna get it. And I got to the counter and they went out of the back to get the box for it, and they came out with a scorpion as well. I was like, ah oh, nah. Now they're gonna now oh, nah. Nah, nah, I gotta buy both of them. And then they were like, oh they're actually 15 quid each. I was like, yes! I got both of them for 30 quid. <laughs> <laughs> so well, that was cool. I enjoyed that. Uh have you noticed a drop in Wi-Fi since the latest update? Not for me. I've not had any update, not any issues with that. Um yeah, I think, well, the trouble is the my phone I got at the moment. Usually I use the uh, Rode Wireless Go, so this little bad boy here, and that and that links to its trans its receiver here. Oh, excuse me, which plugs into my camera, and then this goes onto the side of my headset like that. So whatever you see that on the side there, that's got a little microphone on the side, and it's picking up my audio and the game, but it died because I've not used it for like a week. Because I've not really done any videos since then, so I've just put the sort of little sort of video micro on the side of my camera there. So it was a bit too far away. I probably should increase the gain, but if I do that, then it's all messed up when I plug that back in again. So I'll just move you. I'll just move you closer. You just, you know, we we can get close. We 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 we're, we're almost family, aren't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know, you like you like family. <laughs> Can I make a video on the Go mic reflector mist? Do you mean the Rode mic? Or vi the video mic? Video mic Go? Or you mean, I guess you said the Go mic, so you mean the Rode wireless Go. I can do. I do I do really like these. I do really like these. The, wi the, the Rode wireless Go microphones are really, really, really good. I really, really do like them. They work really well. They've got their own internal battery. The end downside is you've got to charge them, so if you, not, if you run out of charge, you can technically plug them in. You can just plug them in with USB-C um, on both of them, and they still work while being powered. But obviously, if one of them's on the side of your headset, that's a bit, a bit awkward. It's a bit awkward. I can't remember what else we were talking about. What else were we talking about? We're we talking about anything else? Yeah, 15k subs, baby. They got that this morning. It has died off though. It has died off. I don't think I, I don't think I appeal to the masses. So you guys are obviously a little bit weird like me, and uh, <laughs> and it's working. Being close, close in VR. Yeah, fifteen k subs. Let's roll on for another fifteen k. I was thinking about doing some sort of incentive to kind of get more people to subscribe, but then I'm kind of thinking at the same time. Do I want people to subscribe just for the sake that they might win something? Yeah, I might get subscribers, but they're not real subscribers, are they? Like at the moment, I feel like my my subscribers are quite active, quite fresh, because they're only over the last sort of year and a half. The and they're interested, you know, they they want to know what I'm doing, which is what I like. I think that personal touch, talking with you guys, is what I like. Yes, good news on the Aspire One. What was it? The twelfth of September. So it's the same time time as the uh, real VR fishing. So obviously you're going to play real VR fishing instead of Aspire um, One. <laughs> but thank you, Reflecto. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I appreciate it. If anyone's got nothing else they want to say, we're going to call it there. So, uh. How does my how does my outro go? I forgot because I haven't done it for like a week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. It's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it. I try and do better for next time. Become one of the remarkables. Join the fifteen thousand remarkables and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five. And as always, because it's a live stream, I do need to click a button to stop the video. Whereas at this point, usually on a normal video, I just actually cut and then I drag over my in outro, 
end it, top and tail it, add those awesome patron names to the end. So if you're a patron, you get your name in all my videos. Obviously, except for my live streams, because I can't do it on live streams, but on my other videos. Go, go to go to patreon.com slash remarkers and then you get your name on all my videos. Even if, you know, you just do donate five five dollars a month. Do it. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, thank you very much. See you later.